In this video, we will learn about end arteries. End arteries are of two types, anatomical end arteries and functional end arteries. If you see anatomical end arteries in this diagram here, there are two blood vessels. There are two separate blood vessels, okay? And remember, there is this blood vessel supplies the tissue A and this blood vessel is supplying tissue B. And if you see here, there is no overlap in the area supplied by this each blood vessels. So, if one blood vessel is blocked, there is no alternative blood supply for this tissue here. So, when once a anatomical end artery is blocked, the tissue will suffer complete ischemia and in, it will undergo infarction. Okay, so any blockage in this anatomical end arteries means there will be a serious trouble. And the common example would be your central artery of retina is an anatomical end artery. So, remember there is no anastomosis uh, in anatomical end arteries. Now, coming on to this diagram here, what we are seeing is a functional end arteries. So, here two vessels are connected by a very thin collateral. Now, when I tell functional end arteries, remember they have a tiny collateral, but it only opens during a blockage. So, this normally when the when the this, this blood vessel is also working fine, what happens is this blood vessel will supply this uh, section A, this will supply section B. So, there is no overlap. That's why we call it as functional end arteries. But whenever there's a blockage here, this collateral will try to uh, like uh, pass some blood from this blood vessel to this area. But remember, it cannot fully compensate for the blood supply what was provided by this blood vessel. That is why uh, like this example for this functional end arteries would be your coronary arteries. That is why even when heart attack happens, despite there are some collaterals between the blood vessels, they are like very minimal. So, patient still suffers uh, ischemia and myocardial infarction. Just to recollect again, end arteries are of two types, anatomical and functional end arteries. In anatomical end arteries, there is no anastomosis between the two blood, blood vessels and there is no overlap in the tissue supplied by the each blood vessel. If you move on to functional end arteries, uh, there is some collateral but remember whenever there is a blockage this collateral will, will not fully compensate for the blood supply provided by the previous blood vessel but to some extent it still uh, provides some amount of blood supply. There is, there is some backup but not fully compensating up to the normal level. So this is the difference between a anatomical end artery and a functional end artery. The common example here anatomical end artery is your central um, artery of retina. Here the examples would be a coronary arteries, splenic artery or renal arteries are also functional end arteries.